Welcome to our Distance Healing Circle. My name is Dharma Devi, and this week's topic is going to be on laughter diet. So last week we talked about going on a worry fast, and I'd like to read to you from Divine Will of Healing. This is joy as the cure for worry. The negative method for overcoming worry poisoning is worry fasting. There are also positive methods. One infected with the germs of worry must go on a strict mental diet. He must feast frugally but regularly on the society of joyful minds. Every day he must associate, if only for a little while, with joy infected minds. There are some people the song of whose laughter nothing can still. Seek them out and feast with them on the most vitalizing food of joy. Continue the laughter diet for a month or two. Feast on laughter in the company of really joyful people. Digest it thoroughly by wholeheartedly masticating laughter with the teeth of your attention. Steadfastly continue your laughter diet once you have begun it, and at the end of a month or two, you will see the change. Your mind will be filled with sunshine. Remember, specific habits can be cultivated only by specific habit-forming actions. This is a, a beautiful topic, and uh, in relating to the laughter diet, I invited someone to join us for this week's healing circle. Some of you may know her, others, Will, this will be your, your introduction, and she's here, and she is my little doggie, Kali, and she uh, started her little life by being on the camera quite a bit when she was young, and so she enjoys getting to join me for the healing circle online. So she's here. <laughs> she has very healing energy. She'll come up sometimes and put her little paws on my heart and offer healing energy. And she offers it also through her kisses. So Kali will be here as our special guest for the Laughter Diet Healing Circle. So let's close our eyes now. Sit up straight. Tune into the energy flowing in your body. Maybe it's difficult to feel at first. We have so many preoccupations, regrets, thoughts about the past or the future, so many things that pull us away from this present moment, and so many things that keep us wound tightly to our egos. And one of the greatest cures for that is not taking ourselves too seriously realizing we're just a little drop in this great cosmic ocean of spirit. Let that thought calm you, feeling that from God's perspective, all of our trials, though he understands us perfectly, knows how necessary they are for our growth and that he doesn't give us anything that we can't handle. If you think back to some troubles you may have had as a child, maybe while in school and um, trying to fit in or uh, interpersonal uh, interplay <laughs> with friends, uh, maybe in middle school or high school, if you think back to those times, you probably are able to laugh at a lot of those problems and seemingly just huge, terrible things that were happening in your life at that time. And maybe now you can see, oh, well, the teacher um, giving me a bad grade on my English assignment wasn't really the end of the world. <laughs> and that's really how we can look at all of our problems, all of our issues now, because 
ultimately, when we take the grand uh, cycle of time and how many times we've been born and reborn and even if you don't believe in reincarnation, just this life is enough to recognize the world goes on and the more we can just let go of a feeling of importance or a feeling of, oh, you know, what would people do without me or any of those little things that creep in or big things that creep in and just seeing how insignificant we are and also how perfectly special our soul is. We have that beautiful spark of spirit within each one of us like a beautiful crystal right within your heart and imagine that crystal maybe it's gotten cloudy or muddy dirty consciously bring in light clarity see it like a, a beautiful brilliant light or a mist that's coming in and seeping in through the pores of your heart crystal and cleansing away any feelings of doubt or negativity or limitation or separateness any pain that you feel in your heart go to the center of that pain accept it and then consciously release it offer it up to the divine at the point between the eyebrows. And feel that crystal in your heart shining brightly now. No obstacles only opportunities. See the light of your heart shining in all directions. Maybe feel a gentle smile coming upon your face. It doesn't even have to be outward, just feeling that inward joy Yogananda said that sorrow has no reality of its own. It's just an absence of joy. And our nature is joy. So feel your true nature deep within. Maybe it's hidden over layers and layers of veils and things that we've put over top of it. But the gold of our soul is always there no matter how much we bury it under the sand of delusion. As you continue to feel the light of your heart radiating out in all directions, and feeling that joy maybe bubbling up within you. Feel it rising up your spine. Every time we have a positive thought, the kundalini energy, that dormant energy at the base of the spine, rises. And every time we have a negative thought, it falls. So the more we can keep ourselves on that high level of joy and love and peace, 
all those qualities of the divine, the more we can experience our true nature as a child of God. And the more we're vibrating at that frequency of joy, the more we can help others around us, the more we can spread the light of spirit. And just as yawning is contagious, laughter is contagious, so the more we can be a smile millionaire, as Yogananda put it, the more we can infect others with our, our joy whole world like a ripple in a pond when you drop a, a pebble in a pond it ripples all the way out to the edges of the lake before it comes back to the center the same way with our vibration the more we put out joy and light in this world the more it ripples back it ripples out and touches in some small way everyone in creation every being is touched by our joy and then of course that joy comes back to us just as the ripple on the pond comes back to its center feel now joy of your soul rippling out. You can bring to mind anyone you know who you'd especially like to share that joy with and see them, see their spirit radiant, full of light. Full of divine love. See it now touching your whole family, your friends, your loved ones, your co-workers, associates, clients, students, anyone you know, your spiritual family. And see it now rippling around the world, throughout our, our world, our planet, being filled with that joy. All beings, all creatures, the earth, the sea, the air, all of it being permeated with God's joy. bring the hands together, the palms together in front of the heart and using Yogananda's healing prayer together we'll send out blessings through the power of Om, the sound of Om, the cosmic vibration. So pray together with me out loud or silently. Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all thy children. Manifest thy healing presence in all bodies, minds, and souls. And rubbing the palms together, vigorously drawing that perfectly pure, bright energy of your heart into the palms of your hands. And now holding the hands out turned, let's chant Om together three times. Oh 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 Stay here for a moment or two 
to you, continuing to channel the energy through you. As Yogananda said, the instrument is blessed by that which flows through it. Feel the blessing in your life as you continue to radiate these blessings out to all the world. And when you're ready, bringing the hands back together in front of the heart, gently bowing the head, offering up the ego, any sense of I, me, mine. To your Father, Mother, God. Om Peace. Amen. Thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you back here, hopefully again next week. Thursday at 3.33 p.m. Pacific. God bless you. Namaste.